uh, cheetah drugs and uh, greed. Maybe too, uh, greed. Much to grow. Greed happiness. Greed. Cheating. Yeah. Basic fundamental problem is that uh, we don't know who we are. We are not this body, we are the soul. So we are actually cheating ourselves first. Uh, you know, uh, I had explained that you are not there in the, in the Computer Institute also about the soul. We had a series of lectures. So if I start it again, then they will all get bored. So, <laughs> so uh, basically it's an identity crisis that uh, we don't know who we are. Uh, and we are trying to give ourselves enjoyment. We are trying to do so many things. And it will never be lost. What is the verse in the Gita? It's in the Yeah,比切出土拉加罗，不就？啊，比切出土拉加罗，不就？得慢慢的吧。啊，所以把目标是什么？是什么？是什么？是什么？是什么？是什么？是什么？是什么？是什么？是什么？是什么？是什么？是
first try to, you know, like uh, one car was driving on the road and uh, it got uh, not working. Uh, so the driver he got down and tried to open the engine and tried to he could not find out what was the mistake in the car. But he immediately called the engineer, the car person, and immediately he just opened and just looked and said, carburetor may catch you know, some dirt is gone in the carburetor. So how can that person could see it and why why the other person could not see it? Can you tell me? Study Professional. Yeah. The training and his study. He studied that line and he knows where to see. He can see it now. So even to see some problem in the car, it requires so many years of training. And people they come and say, Swami, just show me God right now. Just show me right now. Then I'll believe. That is foolishness. Yeah. They don't want to have any training, they don't want to practice any spiritual practice and then they just come and say, just show me God. So, uh, how is that possible? Abhyasa Yoga Yuktena, Lord Krishna tells Arjuna, you need to practice spiritual life. Then slowly, slowly, you will start perceiving God while chanting His name, while engaging in activity. You will start seeing your soul. So it is a it is a vigya, it is a science which one can actually not only theory but you can realize, but not instantly. One needs to practice under a proper guide. Just like he learned how to see the problem in the car from some school or from some teacher. Similarly, you have to learn from a teacher about God. So uh, only one who has seen that can show it to you. So in that way, instead of speculating like this, like a mosquito trying to lick outside the honey, one should try to, uh, you know, get the real honey by... Uh, yeah, the, so second uh, form of knowledge, what is it? Anuman. Anuman. What is Anuman? Right? Perception. Speculation. Yeah, guesswork. Speculation. Like Charles Darwin said that man has come from monkey. He had no proof. He had no proof. Has any one of you seen a monkey become a man? Have you seen? Then how did you believe Charles Darwin? Why did you not uh, ask for proof in the college, in the school? He is Ganesh. Can you? I haven't thought of that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and if monkeys are turning into men, why the monkeys are still there? No, I, actually the education was like forced on us. No? Forced on us. I mean, I never had this uh, speculation kind of thing to, you know, to ask the teacher mm -hmm. that the right yeah. one. It was like, touch it up on us. This is the thing. You have to believe this, that's it. Yes. No, but I think at that level, no, we didn't have the maturity of questioning them and no, but we, it is not other way. We still don't question it, no? Yeah, that's what we? I'm saying. No, we, we don't. It's all past now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you know, we have wasted so much of our <laughs> life in hearing theories which are constantly changing in science and hearing uh, things which are not true and uh, when it comes to spiritual knowledge, we immediately question. Okay, give me proof. Give me proof. Give me this. And so many years in school and college, we just have heard blindly, this is right, this is okay, 2 plus 2 equal to 4. Did you ever question it? Why 2 plus 2 equal to 4? Nobody questioned. Why pi equal to 3.142? Did you question that? No. <laughs> Nobody questioned. Everyone accepted. Why no. people are so sensitive and because they are afraid if I accept God, I will have to surrender. Okay. Yeah, there is no surrender. <laughs> in, in, in education, you don't know, you can do anything you want. You study, just go to college and then come and enjoy. But if I accept God, then all my things will change. I have, I have to accept rebirth and I have to start preparing for rebirth. And I have to accept it. I have the soul and, you know, I have to 
put my head down to somebody, you know, oh, I can't do that. You know, there's a saying in Hindi, Sir, kata sakate hai, like in Sir, jukha sakate hai. I'll cut my head, but I'll not go my head to anyone. Yeah. So, somebody superior you can't accept now. Ego, because... Yeah. So that is where you question everything. Show me God, show me the soul. So, but uh, Anuman is highly defective form of knowledge because it can be totally wrong, the speculation like Darwin said, man come from monkey. Then when he, Darwin saw the intricate nature of the human eye, later after he propagated his theory, he saw the intricate nature of the human eye, retina and all that. Then Darwin said, oh, I, I don't think this can come by chance. It cannot come by chance, there is so much deep mechanism. There has to be some superior intelligence. But no, but man has come from monkey by chance. When you ask the scientist something, they say, it happened by chance. How did the creation come? Because they don't know the answer. The big bang happened. There was a mass uh, and it came a big bang. And how did the earth, by chance, it cooled down and by chance it came. Explanation given that this Big Bang theory okay. yeah. is as uh, you know ridiculous yeah. as the chance. Like for example, you had a print shop, you know, where they print the books. Yes. Uh, so if there is an explosion in the print shop, yeah. and out comes flying a fully printed book. Books. So what is the chance of an okay. explosion you know happening in a printing shop and yeah. and the result you know being a yeah. fully printed book flying out. Yes. You know? yes. So yes. it's as ridiculous as... Uh, and the theory is that it kept on raining for millions of years. Yeah, and there was a big tomato soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big soup and carbon dioxide and oxygen, lightning. And one lightning stuck yeah. one uh, drop of water from which life uh, started. Yeah. Yeah. So even today there is lightning. So okay, lightning. okay. We will believe in the theory, but why can't you make it now? Yes, yeah, so we should be having, you know, yeah. Yeah. Every time we have a lightning. Yeah. Dr. Burka Singh, he did, uh, they did this probability analysis of light coming from the soup. Uh, and uh, what is the probability, like you said? And they came with the probability is uh, 1 is to uh, minus 40,000. 1 raised to minus 40,000. <laughs> I mean, so many zeros, we can't even imagine. Uh, you know, that life will come by chance. Still, you know, uh, when I was in IIT, uh, I think my head of my department, Dr. A.K. Singh, the biological head, uh, used to teach us. Then uh, I used to ask him, uh, uh, okay, he was, ultimately some things cannot be answered by science. So you say nature, nature is so complex. Ultimately nature is so variety. Nature is so great. So I asked him, who's nature? Yeah. What is beyond nature? When, when you talk of nature, there, there has to be someone's nature. Prakruti. We say prakruti. When modern science cannot answer something, they say prakruti is nature. So great, so vast, cannot explain. But prakruti means there has to be some purusha. Yeah. Some person whose nature is that. Nature cannot exist uh, individually. Like Isaac Newton, that uh, apple fell on his head. Uh, sitting. And he wondered why things are coming down, not going up. You know? Then he discovered the law of gravitation. But he did not ask further that who made the law of gravitation. He discovered, he did not invent the law of gravitation. He discovered the law of gravitation. But the scientists, they go up to a particular level, they don't go above that. They just try to f discover the laws, but they don't try to ask who is the law maker. If a traffic signal is going on in Bangalore, everything is running systematic. When the child, even child sees the signal, you say somebody is pulling the switch. You know, so there, there has to be some person, it cannot go on yeah, automatically. So much system is there in this creation. So, uh, 
the, the science is uh, the science is saying that if you try to talk about God, then science will become dogmatic. But uh, in fact, without God, it has become dogmatic. That uh, they cannot explain where the laws are coming from. It cannot be automatically created. Uh, the laws. There has to be a superior intelligence. Even to run a small house, we need some intelligence. We need to work. So to run the whole universe, whole creation, how it can run automatically? Fundamental question. To even a child can understand. Still. The scientists want to ignore it, uh, ignore the existence of God and cheat millions of people simply. Uh, so, God. Uh, uh, so uh, here Krishna uh, is coming. Uh, Krishna is considered God in all the Vedic scriptures unanimously. When Krishna showed the Vishwarup uh, to Arjuna, uh, uh, Arjuna said that. No, Arjuna wanted to see the universal form of Krishna because he knew that he is accepting, he accepted God, para Brahma, param dhama, pavitram, paramam. He accepted Krishna as the supreme God, but then he thought that I, I may accept, but I am a considered a friend of Krishna. So, I mean, my acceptance people will not take seriously because they think that I am a friend, that's why I accept him as God. So then Arjuna asked Krishna, please show me a universal form. Then all creation is there because then the whole world will accept. I may accept, but uh, people may not take it seriously. So Krishna showed his universal form to Arjuna. Then he showed his unlimited expansions of Vishnu. Whom did he show this to? Brahma. To Brahma. You know, Brahma he kidnapped the cows, calves uh, of Krishna. He, want, he thought Krishna is an ordinary boy playing with the cow and eating butter. So he kidnapped uh, Brahma, all the cows and put them in the asleep in Brahma Loka in the cave in Yoga Nidra. In Nidra. Then he kidnapped all the coward boys. So Krishna understood this is the work of Brahma. So Krishna is thinking, oh Brahma, do you think I am dependent on anyone to perform my Leela? No. So for one year Krishna expanded himself into as many cows and as many coward boys, exactly identical as they were before, he expanded himself. And same, if they are carrying the bugle on the waist, that same they were car carrying the bugle on the waist. Every one was exactly the same as it was before. So Brahma came down and again he saw, oh, they are here also. Then he again he went to Brahma Loka in the cave, again opened, oh, they are here also. So he is uh, going back and coming back. Fourth, he is having doubt, how can they be? I captured them and I put them there. So then, uh, uh, ultimately when Brahma came back, then Krishna said that it is time to now remove this illusion of Brahma. That he thinks that I am an ordinary being. So Krishna manifested in all the forms of the coward boys and the car which he had taken. He manifested his four hands. Uh, that's Vishnu form and he showed it to Brahma and Brahma became very very sad lamenting, oh why did I test God though he was playing like an ordinary human being <coughs> Krishna, some people don't believe that Krishna is God because they think he has also two hands like us, two feet like us you know, and we also die, we also have old age so Krishna also must be having the same what answer you will give them? <coughs> How will you explain them? It is known as anthropomorphism or zoomorphism that our qualities we project on God. Instead of saying that man is made in the image of God, they say that 
God is made in the image of man. So if I die, I have to die. Then oh, God also has to die. And Michelangelo is old. He made the God. If I get old, God also has old. If I have a beard, then God also has to. So uh, that is uh, projecting our uh, wrong conceptions of God. Though God has two hands, actually we are made in the image of God because God has two divine hands and two divine feet and a same form like us. We have that same form. But what is the difference? Yeah, God's body is Satchitanam, the divine. We are made of mucus or Yeah, our body is material body. Uh, that is why Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita, how many years old he was? From Kutshetra. How many years? Uh, yeah, around 125 uh, years old. But do you see a beard, moustache, white hair? See, I am already 34 now, I have started getting white hair. Uh, already white hair has started. So, uh, but Krishna, 125 years old. Looking like a 16 year old youth. Kandarpa Goti Kamaniya Vishesh Shobham Govinda Mani Purusham Tamaham Hajam. So the body, his body is never decaying because his body is uh, uh, made up of only three ingredients Sat, Chit, and Anand. Sat, Chit, and Anand. And our body is made up of bones, blood, mucus. And our soul is Satchitana. Soul is also a minute uh, part of God. So our Satchitana, the body is also lying dormant in the soul. It is compressed form in the soul. We also have a Satchitana the body where we can enter into the spiritual world and serve. It is in the compressed form in the soul. So by self-realization uh, it will expand. Uh, that spiritual body will expand and gradually uh, especially by sound vibration. The only way to awaken our spiritual form is by sound vibration. That is by chanting the mantra and chanting the holy name of God. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Nityananda, Go. So, that is what Krishna is showing that I am different from you. And can you show this so many forms? Somebody can show this form, then one is God. Then in Andhra Pradesh there is some avatar has come of Kalki. <laughs> so many avatars and so many uh, incarnations are being manufactured and people are accepting them blindly. In fact, uh, some avatar they go in the jail and they come out in bail. <laughs> How can God go into jail? When God was born in Devaki's womb in the jail, all the jail doors became open. And all the shackles became uh, uh, released. Uh, How can God have to be captured in jail? Uh, not possible. Somebody asked him, okay, you show me your Vishwarup. Somebody asked this bogus incarnation. Show me this forms which Krishna has shown to Brahma. Yeah. So what he did you know? He ordered, he went to a shop and ordered uh, his lamination to be made of uh, two, two, three stories high and said, see this is my Vishwar. Uh -huh. Some photo. Lamination. Uh -huh. What is this? What is this? Uh, uh, recently that uh, I had invited one person, yeah. so he told me that recently he had been to uh, ashram here, Sai Baba Ashram. Yeah. So now he is uh, almost eight years old. Okay. Uh, recently, you know, they had the celebrations. So he is so, uh, he is not even able to walk or uh, they literally have to carry him. No. Yeah. So, uh, so helpless now. Yeah. Sai Baba. So even when Prabhupada's time, there was one very rich man. He went to one guru and then he came to Prabhupada. So Prabhupada said, Are you God? 
said, yeah, my Guru said we are all God. We are all God, we just have to meditate and become God. So then, uh, then, you know, go and ask your Guru uh, whether it's, uh, why does he go to hospital when the tooth is paining? He went to the Guru and asked him, why do, why do you go to, uh, Guruji, if you are God, why your tooth is paining? Because God is all powerful. You know, how, why the God needs help of somebody else uh, to remove the tooth pain? And so he asked the Guru, the Guru became confused, you know, what to reply. Then, uh, after looking here and there, the Guru said, oh, it is my Leela. <laughs> Uh, it is my pastime. You know, I am, my tooth is paining, so I can go and deliver that guy in the hospital. That doctor he will uh, check my tooth, and he will get delivered by touching me. Oh. <laughs> so uh, he came back to Prabhupada and said, "My guru is telling it is his lila. He is God. I am. Everybody is God. It is his lila." So Prabhupada said. Uh, Jajanma Mrityu Jaravyadhi Dukkha Doshanu Darshanam In the Bhagavad Gita it is said it is not Lila, it is Dosha. Dukkha Doshanu Darshanam Vyadhi, disease is a defect. And uh, death, birth, old age, these are all four defects in this material uh, world. Uh, so if he considers his Lila, then uh, you know, he is totally cheating others. The difference between karma and leela, you know, what is the difference between our activities and God's activities? Our activities are due to our past karma. Our past deeds, what we have done in the previous life, have determined what we are going to do right now. Our is forced. We don't want to take birth in a poor family or, uh, 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 you know, in a, uh, in, as blind or as lame. We don't want to take birth like that, but we are forced. We are forced to take birth like that. Why we are forced? You do our past mistakes. Nobody is innocent. Sometimes people ask, Amiji, why are these children born blind? No, they are so innocent. And actually, they are getting a reaction from some mistakes they have performed. The scientists cannot explain why a child gets blind, uh, lame, cannot explain. But it is due to uh, they will blame it on the genes. Yeah. But why the genes have like that? Have become that? Like? Why not for everyone? Why everyone is born in a different Again by chance. Yeah. But it is not by chance. Even science says it is not by chance. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So science also gives the answer that there is cannot be by chance. So, uh, yeah. one should always understand that the hand of a superior intelligence of God. So, uh, what was saying previously? Yeah. So, our activities are known as karma because it, they are forced on us. But God's activities are known as lila because they are due to supreme independence. He can do anything at any time. He can come, right now he can come. He can show his forms, universal form, to anyone he wants. He can take birth anywhere he wants, in any place. And so, he is totally independent. Another name for God is Swarat. Swarat, Swarat means independent, totally independent. Because the soul is also a minute part of God. That is why the soul also has some minute independence. We also have some independence. And at every step we can choose whether I want to serve God or whether I want to serve this external energy. I mean, forget Him. At every point we can choose because God does not force on us. He does accept. Minute independence is always given to the soul. Uh, whether the soul is a king or a pauper or a beggar or a businessman or a housewife, 
every soul has a minded independence and every second the soul can decide whether I want to connect with God or I want to forget God. And now can I ask you a question, why has God given us this independence? Why, why doesn't God force, some, some people ask me, Swamiji, why doesn't God force every soul to become his devotee? Because ultimately the soul is his part and parcel. So why is he allowing so many bad things in this world? Why does he not force uh, the soul? Actually, if you, if you would force the soul, then uh, there would be no material world because all souls would be That's good true. souls in the spiritual world serving, serving God. Because he loves us? Because he loves us. And if you love someone, then you will force them. Not necessary. <laughs> Not necessary. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Because devotion or that the soul, God has manifested the soul, created the soul for a particular purpose. You know what is the purpose? It may sound like a selfish purpose. But, so, but that is the purpose. For his enjoyment. Huh? For his enjoyment. For giving him enjoyment. He created the souls to uh, connect with him because that is the only way the part will get enjoyment. The body will get, the hand will get enjoyment if it puts food in the body and then automatically the hand will become strong. If the part serves the whole, then only the whole the part can get enjoyment. So, God created the soul to be connected with him. But now the problem of connecting with him is something which has to come spontaneously from the soul. See, even though God created the soul, manifested the soul, He wanted the soul to spontaneously connect with Him, not to force it. Like, you know, uh, today is father's birthday and a child, the father will tell the child, okay child, I'll give you 100 rupees, go and get a cake for me, my birthday today, go, go. Then, uh, if the child, I said, no, I am so worried. Go, go, take, bring for me, today my birthday. The child will go and bring. Will the father be happy with that kid? Child also won't be happy. Child also won't be happy. Father also won't be happy. Yeah, but if it's a birthday and the child says, Father, I will give you a surprise. He goes out. Father is so happy because it has come from uh, automatically. You know? If I go in front, now they are coming out with artificial intelligence. I go in front of the computer and I type, I love you. And in the computer monitor screen, it will show me, I love you. Will I be happy with the computer? Huh? No, because I have typed myself, what is the big deal in that? But suddenly when I am working and the computer suddenly shows, you know, I love you. And you will say, oh, nah, you know, really something very surprising. So similarly, even though God is in, can control the soul, everything is under God's control, but this God, God never forces uh, this uh, love uh, from the soul towards Him, He never forces that. Mm. He wants it to come spontaneously. That is known as Bhakti Yoga. Bhakti Yoga, the Nama Yoga, means that uh, uh, it is a spontaneous thing, voluntary. And in fact, the Lord goes to so much extent that if the soul doesn't want to make good use of the independence to serve Him and wants to misuse the independence, then even God says, okay, that also I will provide for you. Like sometimes a child wants to smoke cigarette and is demanding the father, I want the cigarette, I want it. And the father, you know, this cannot uh, you know, force him ultimately. And the father goes out and buys him a cigarette, but the father is not happy. Father knows this very bad thing he is doing, but what to do? The father is forced. Similarly, the father can stop if the father wants, but doesn't want to force at that time. Similarly, God, when the souls want to misuse their independence, the independence is given by God only, but the souls want to misuse, God tries to rectify them, but if they don't hear, then uh, the Lord, He creates this... Uh, material world, because God says that if you want to misuse your independence, you can't live in my spiritual world. 
because in my spiritual world of Vaikuntha, everyone is uh, properly using the independence, indirectly serving me. So I cannot keep uh, criminals in my kingdom. I mean, I'll provide a facility just like the government says, you know, if you want to do wrong things against the law of the government, you cannot stay in the proper city. Where you will stay? Yes. You have to go to the prison house. The government creates a prison house for those criminals who uh, cannot abide by the laws of the... Similarly, uh, God says, okay, if you want to uh, enjoy separately from me, try to become God, then I will give you this facility, I will create a special, special world for you. And he goes through, you know, of course he doesn't have to take any trouble, he just thinks and it is great. Lokani, uh, Jayante, in the Vedanta Sutra it is said, he just glances on one corner of this creation and this Mahatattva, material creation is manifested. Uh, I was explaining in the computer institute that the material creation is one fourth of the whole creation. Spiritual creation is three fourth. Just like the jail, it is only a corner of the city. The jail cannot be bigger than the city. Because uh, there are more good citizens than there are more than there are criminals. So all these criminals are a small part of the main uh, city. Similarly, in this material world, which is like a specific uh, creation created by God to allow the souls to try to lord it over material nature, uh, it is only one fourth. And there are so many unlimited souls in, in this creation. Even in this room, now you know, there are so many bacteria and so many millions and millions of souls are there. One can imagine how many souls are there in this universe. And there are millions of universes in this material creation. Our universe is only just like a mustard seed. In the bag of mustard seed. So many universes. Our universe is the smallest actually, 4 billion miles in diameter. There are other universes that are 40 billion, 400 billion, 4000 billion. And they have more than 4 directions. Our universe is only 4 directions, east, west, north, south. There are other universes which are multi-directional and, you know, thousands and thousands of varieties of souls and planets are there. So you can imagine so many souls are there in this material world. Then one can imagine what variety there must be in the spiritual world, which is three-fourths, and you know, of this material world, unlimited. But people don't want to accept that. I was giving the example of the donkey. The donkey uh, wants to eat some grass, carrot. I think we have this like. Mm -hmm. 